In this lesson, we are gonna be talking about distance charts. Now, your teacher might give it a different name, but pretty much it's a diagram that looks like this, okay? So our first example, I just wanted you to realize that all the values that you see on this table are measured in kilometers. So for example, this is 97 kilometers, 36 kilometers, you get the idea. So the way it works is the following. It says here, determine the distance from Manchester to York. So these are places in a certain area, okay? Um, this is the little town called Hull. This is a little town called Leeds, Manchester, York. This is all somewhere in England. So these are, these are little towns, okay? Now they wanna know what is the distance from Manchester to York? So all you do is you just go to uh, Manchester, and to York, and you somehow make them connect. So for example, with Manchester, you could either go left or you could go down. Now with York, you can only go this way. It can't go, it can't go up or down. It can only go in that direction. So with York, you're just gonna draw a line going like that. Now with Manchester, you're gonna go down so that they can intersect each other over there. If with Manchester, you just went like that, it wouldn't really work. It wouldn't intersect. So you go down and where they intersect, that is your answer. So that one would be 71 kilometers. Now let's do a few more examples. So now we're gonna go from Hull to Lincoln. So with Hull you can go down and with Lincoln you can go across and where they intersect, that is the answer. So that would be 47 kilometers. Andy lives in Manchester, his friend lives 44 kilometers away. In which area does his friend live? Okay, so if you look at Manchester, you could go down, but there's no 44. But if you go left, oh, there's a 44 over there, and that is intersecting this column over here, which would then be Leeds. So the answer for that would be Leeds. This one says, determine the distance from Sheffield, so there's Sheffield, to Leeds. Okay, so with Leeds, you would just go down, and then with Sheffield, you can go across, so that they intersect over there at 36, so the answer would be 36 kilometers. So here's another one now. So this one is actually South African uh, towns. We've got, for example, Cape Town, we've got Mossel Bay. Okay, so this, oh, and then we've got like, Port, I was gonna say this is the Western Cape, but we've also got Port Elizabeth, for example. Um, okay, so it says, determine the distance from Cape Town to Nisner. Now, Cape Town is here and Cape Town is here, so, and then Nisner is here or Nisner is there. So there's different ways you could do this. You could go, down with Cape Town over here, down, 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 and there it is, Nisner, so 494 kilometers. But you could have also gone this way to Nisner, but you're still gonna get 494 kilometers, so it doesn't really matter. So this one would be 494. Now how do I know it's in kilometers? Because they've told us over there. Determine the distance from George to Port Elizabeth. So we can go from George, and then we can go Port Elizabeth, which is over here. And so you could just go down and across, whoopsie, and across, and wherever they intersect, that's the answer. So this one would be 329 kilometers. You could have also gone in a different way. You could have gone Port Elizabeth here at the bottom, so and then George is over here, so you could have gone down, and then, whoops, uh, sorry, it's not letting me write very nicely there, and then you could have gone across, like that. Well, you would have gone from the other way. You would have gone, ah, uh, PowerPoint's just not letting me write. It would have gone like that, okay? And there we would have gotten 329, as our answer, and that's the same as what we got when we did it the other way.